Good one. Bruce spilling the ball in contact. Tyndall. Advantage here for England. Tyndall with the fresh legs. Here comes Robinson. But lost ahead there by the replacement centre. Galtier. And Fabian Galtier, the 34-year-old veteran of four World Cups, has said if his side loses this game, it will be his last appearance. It's as hard to hold on to in attack as it is in defence. The French losing it in the tackle. Tyndall unable to grab a hold of it. Great work by the English front row to put that last bit of pressure on so Aronadorki isn't uh, got the free run. No knock on by Cohen. Cohen doing plenty of talking, saying, give me support as they move it inside the quarter. Johnny Wilkinson, a left foot snap. Well, are the handling skills of the players this bad? Or is it a statement about the ball when we get wet weather? I don't know, but the handling has been atrocious in these terrible conditions. Well, 15 handling errors from both teams. Neither team's been separate from it. A look of satisfaction on Clive Woodward's face. Why wouldn't it? Been a long way. A lot of time and effort. End dollars getting to this final. Estimated at a £60 million campaign for England. They've achieved their goal inside the last five minutes. 17 point advantage. England players just geeing each other on now. And the French haven't been able to get outside their 22 of late. Front row coming up. Stay down. That's a, a binding issue in the front row. You've got to stay down if you come up. can cause those neck injuries that we saw last night. Wilkinson. Here come the chasers. Similar to the French try against New Zealand in the semi-final four years ago. Held up. Great option for Johnny Wilkinson then. He had Tyndall on the fly. It's really got involved since he's come on Tyndall. He was onside. He took the ball first and hoped that the men arrived to drive him over. But there were just more blue jerseys. They were desperate to keep him up. Look, lying underneath him and on top. So are we watching the closing moments of a magnificent career of the French captain, Fabien Galtier, there, number nine? Neil back, met by Galtier. Another drop goal's on here, but Wilkinson elects to offload to Greenwood. Wilkinson losing. And advantage here for the French. Manya. No advantage there for France. No advantage, Blue. Wilkinson initially losing the ball ahead. Just three minutes to go. And the French will be fronting up here next Thursday to face the All Blacks in the playoff, the main preliminary bout. 49 possessions, Johnny Wilkinson to the French, 19. Massive difference. And Wilkinson has done lots with it. Lots with it. Gross attendance at matches in this Rugby World Cup. This is the 46th. 1.7 million fans have turned up at the games. This is a new World Cup record. It wasn't the spectacle the fans were hoping for, but it's music to the ears of the England fans and Sweet Chariot. They've been in strong voice all the way through this second half feeling very much at home in the conditions no doubt look at that nervous expectancy now they've got to start planning Jason Leonard 
coming on for a little bit more time as Trevor Woodman comes off. Great effort tonight. They stood up in the front row for England. It was an opportunity for the French to attack them there. And it's that man's opportunity for revenge from 91. He was in the World Cup final against Australia 12 years ago when the Wallabies won 12-6. And uh, he'll certainly figure in the final next week as he enjoys a world record 112th international for his country. Passing Philippe Salah, who was in the crowd tonight. Wilkinson. On the far side is Lucy and Robinson. Just over a minute remaining. Command performance by Johnny Wilkinson, this man. His kicking boot has destroyed any French hopes of a victory tonight. Three drop goals and five penalties. And still the French are turned around with no answers. You'd have to say Wilkinson 24, France 7. And these conditions were not to France's liking right from the start. They haven't been able to adjust in any way. Ball retention has been difficult. Line-out ball has been fractured. Scrum's been solid, but they haven't been able to advance it. And Brusque. Only gaining about 15 metres. The countdown from this 82,000 plus crowd. 82,346. This is the last play of the day. Martin Johnson. Knocked ahead there by England. That is the end of the road for France. And next week, the England side will say it's revenge time as they face the Wallabies in a replay of the 1991 World Cup final. Johnny Wilkins. 24 points to seven. England get the victory, but Shane Howarth, it wasn't particularly uh, pretty, was it? Yeah, but I mean, Clive Woodward said before the game, Andrew, it didn't have to be pretty, and it wasn't, but it was effective. And, you know, Johnny Wilkinson, they got into positions where his boot could punish a French, and it sure as heck did. Marcus Blackburn, thoroughly professional performance from England. Um, yeah, and as you'd expect, you know, their players are very focused now. You can see that in their celebration. They're looking forward to the final next week. They don't look too um, happy, do they, the England well, team? It's a different emotion, isn't it? The Australians well, are, are underwhelming <laughs> underdogs against the All Blacks, and they showed emotion after it. The English have just said, no, we've got a game next week.